Hi guys. Good afternoon. It's beautiful out here. Been seeing a lot of videos pop up lately on depression. Um, depression is pretty serious. I suffered years of being in a depressed state, not knowing where my life was going, not knowing if I was worth anything, not knowing, you know, where my purpose was in life. And there were, you know, several times I thought to myself whether or not it was worth even living. And, uh, you know, certain songs on the radio and stuff lately and certain Facebook posts and things and videos I've been watching have been making me think maybe I should talk a little bit more about the depression that I experienced because maybe it'll help somebody else. When you go through life and everything seems to be going wrong and it seems like you're just, you can't get anywhere. Money's not there. Family's not there for you. Your friends are bailing on you all the time, but whenever whenever they need you, you're there. Those are the moments that, that I look to the big man upstairs the most. And I know that's not the answer for everybody because not everybody's a believer. So let's talk about this in another standpoint. Other than me being able to turn to my answer, which is God. Um, and, you know, I'm not perfect. I suffer from some of that stuff sometimes today. We all do. I remember sitting down and talking to my mother and asking my mother, hey, have you ever been to a point in your life where you feel like, like you just don't want to be here? Like you really just don't want to live? Like you just would rather not have to deal with all the hormone problems and the stresses and the releases and stuff in the body whenever your life gets rough? That's the... That's your... You're making talking to you, basically telling you that, you know, you've uh, you've hit that that rock bottom point, and uh, it's time to dig yourself out. And my mother said yes. Never heard my mom say anything like that before. My mom said she said yes. She said I've, I've been there. But honestly, this is not the answer, but it's the truth. You're the only person that can change that. At some point, you have to do something in your life that's different than what you've done before. And uh, what I did was I, uh, I started taking classes. I started trying to become more educated. I started trying to figure out what I want to do with my life. If nobody else is going to be there for me, and if my support's not there to kind of tell me what to do, um, theoretically, I shouldn't have to have that because this is my life and I have to live it. So what I started doing as I started reading books started associating myself with different people I walked away from the life that I lived and created a new life that I thought was me and it, it it ended up being me and it's what kind of took me from being the abused child and you know the child that seen drugs and and sex and gang violence and 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 the mafia in my life and stuff like that and going through years and years of foster care and the military and the army and things like that people ask me all the time how did you turn out to be the person that you are today how why, how can you walk the path that you walk and not use the same excuses and statistics that everybody else want to claim and use to their um, defense on why they're criminals and why they're rapists and why they beat their children and stuff like that it's it's because I had a choice everybody has a choice we live in a world today where the opportunity is unlimited. We don't have uh, segregation going on anymore. We have gen generations coming up that are more accepting that they than they ever have been. We don't have um, people that are so against, um, you know, uh, same same sex uh, relations and stuff anymore. And uh, things are changing slowly. So generations that are coming up now that are still using the excuses, it's because of how I was raised. It's really not an excuse anymore. But the one thing that you cannot change, the one thing that's the same across the board, the one thing that seems to be built into us that we cannot get away from, no matter what generation it is, is depression. It's serious, guys. To look at somebody when they're down and say, you should do this or you shouldn't do that is wrong. I don't even have a place. I changed my life because I found a way to change my life. 
but people that are depressed they do have a serious problem and a lot of times we make those situations worse for them and we don't even realize it we go through life giving advice and stuff like that talking like we actually understand what another person is dealing with and we don't my situation is different than the next person I can have the most extreme severe case of whatever it is and I dealt with it my way and pulled myself out of it but that's because I learned I learned my own path uh, or I, I learned my own way to deal with it that person may not have done that yet so who am I or anybody else to come along and say oh you just need you just need to get help you just need to change your life that worked for me that's not gonna work for everybody I know people that are in their 40s 50s and 60 years I mean there's there are adults the majority of their life has already come and gone they've already had kids and stuff like that and they live their whole life being depressed it's got to be something inside your body it's got to be something that's that's it's chemically wrong that's that's just not there uh, like an imbalance because some people have it a lot worse than others some people have lived their whole life and they've they've run that path of everything fitting together but then all of a sudden in their later years it all falls apart they've never learned how to even deal with that kind of stuff at such an early age and they get depressed I get depressed you get depressed they even make songs about stuff like that I think it was uh it was just the other night I was listening to a song in the truck how do you get that lonely to make you want to take your life to make you want to hurt yourself the question is how and a lot of people will say there's no reason for that but I understand because I've been there and I've seen a lot of people lately talking about how depressed they are I just want you to know that that anybody anybody can talk to me anybody can come to me and say look man I just, I just need to talk just just or even just shut up and just let me talk to you and I'll listen I won't say nothing I know how it is trying <laughs> try not to get emotional <laughs> it's, I've been there I saw somebody today that was just talking about how depressed they are and that's what made me want to make this video <laughs> anyway it's serious and we all should not act like we have the answer you just you just need to be there for people being kind doing the things that we that we should be doing giving back checking in on people more often being a better friend being a better brother and sister reaching out to people that we haven't spoke to in a while because you know we just we have a busy life and our life gets in the way sometimes. Maybe you can make, make the difference. Maybe you can just... My challenge to you is that when you watch this video, you pick one person that you haven't seen in a long time or you haven't talked to in a long time and you reach out to that person and you say, How you doing? Just checking on, in on you because I care. That's my challenge to you. Reach out to somebody that you haven't heard from in a while. It don't matter if it's good standing or bad standing or whatever it is. And say, how you doing? I was just thinking about you and I wanted to know, how's your life? Because you saying something to somebody, showing some kind of initiative to where you're caring for them and what's going on in their life. And meaning it is more than most people will ever do that don't talk to people and they let it pass years and years and years I challenge you to do that reach out to somebody that you haven't heard from in a while reach out to an enemy reach out to somebody that you're just concerned with and say hey I was just thinking about you you wanna grab lunch you wanna grab coffee you wanna you wanna talk about stuff you just want me to listen how are you how's your sister how's your dad Reach out to somebody. Thanks, guys. I appreciate your support.